you spend your free time, and I'm going to make mine bigger size. Want some more? And let it stop. And you can see my circle on the right side like this. Now I do this because I'm not very good at just drawing a circle like that. So what I like to do is draw a semicircle towards me the way I have the mouse control, and then do the same thing on the other side. And for me, if I do it on the right side second, I won't be blocking the first side I drew with my hand. That's more information than I expected. Well, this one is basically just a circle, and depending on your time in cartoon or artwork, you might already be done with just a circle. But I'd like to go a little bit farther. Let's put some uh, squares on this one, huh? And we can do this by making some long extended axes. a curvy line that goes the other way. I like it when they all go in the same direction. You know what I mean? Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the opposite of this circle. And we need others. Probably make the same shape for me or for some people in a particular style of drawing. Now I say style of drawing, but what I intended was drawing style. So, <laughs> but as many of you can as you can to draw it this way. Again, you could just use little straight lines. satisfactory for a time. I see a lot of times drawing with just a circle with a lot of straight lines coming out of it. So we'll go a little bit farther. Now one of the things that makes the sun the sun is the fact that it's in the sky. So give me a little bit of context for that here with my drawing a little cloud in there. And if you want a little background made a video about that too and I'll put the link down below so you can find it. So the cloud actually can make the shadow and go away from the sun. <laughs> it's funny how I'm dancing the light towards the direction of the sun as we speak in the video about it. But you all get it. And that'll help with context too in that people can see that the sun is there. Maybe I'll put another one. Ah, too late. And just quickly, this cloud is made by creating this curve in a cloud shape and then just giving it a little bit of depth with some shadow work. Easy peasy, I'm not going to draw any trees. What's left of the sun? Some people like to put a face in there. That can be a lot of fun. Let's do that. We'll start by making kind of stylized curves around the head and around the body. And they're a little bit off a level. So I'm going to incorporate that into the personality of the sun. And make them kind of like a sneer and a grin at the sun. I'll put a little backwards curve right here to make the left side of the mouth. And then I'll kind of make the top of the mouth like that at the top of the curve. And the same here. There we go. Give me kind of a cool sound. looking down on the earth as the sun lights the earth. And that's basically it. If you want, you can also do a little bit of cross-hatching with the text here. But 
Chapter 2, I was 21 at home. I don't know if you've limited yourself that way. It's a good way to show depth, even though, of course, there are no shadows on the sun. The archbishop in the intensity of love, and even though I may not be getting the dark to light perspective right here, you know, the way that it actually would be, uh, just having confidently done work can go a long way. It can even inspire a little bit of prayer here as we do it through chatting on the Zoom call. Good prayer to work on. And you can ask Vivian for that old friend to grab you back. So, like I said, the defining element of the sun is actually its light. The fact that it's in the sky. So that's how you're going to allow people or help people see that it is the sun itself. You can just make spot a mark if you want to on this one. Or you don't have to do that one. A little bit of shadow. Just about done. So that's about it. That's the picture of the sun. In all its glory with all of its heavens in the sky. If you enjoyed this picture, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. Remember, you can indicate the sky by just making a little horizontal line here. Subscribe to the channel.